Hi and welcome back. When I go shopping, I rarely come home with the stuff I went out to get. And the day I was shopping and I came home with this was no different. This was absolutely not what I was looking for. But I came across this box of 12 classic colored pencils from Faber Castell. And so what's so special about those? And yeah, that's the good question because I already got this set. And at a, at a glance, they, they kind of look a lot similar. Let's see if I can get the glare away a little bit. So the difference seems to be quite subtle. It both has the Eco Pencil logo. They're both hexagonal. Um, here's a, a different logo. This is Let Max Resistant. It says in here, it says includes, it includes a classic gold. But the big difference is that these are called Eco Color Pencils. Uh, actually, the call it eco pencils in English and these are called classic and I've seen both online and I've been really wondering what was the difference these ones are often sold in tins and often with these um, dueling knights on here while these has the castle on it lately now this package comes with this drawing but they call them classic color pencils instead of the eco so looking at the back, uh, this one uh, is produced in Indonesia and this one is produced in Brazil, I believe. Um, I can't find it right now. I'm, I'm quite sure it was Brazil. It was South America anyways. Um, so there is some kind of a difference. Maybe they dropped these. And, and is now using these in there, or I don't know. So these ones, the eco pencils, they um, they have a color name on here, and it's really difficult to read. It is there in f oh how much what is it? That's English, Spanish, and German, so as far as I can read, and they work quite well. But these pencils are lots of them are crooked. If you try to roll them, you can't really because they uh, they warp, and that means that some of them, the ones that are warp warped the most, they're really difficult to to sharpen. Uh, once they work, they work quite well, but um, I've had some mishaps with these ones. This one splintered when I was trying to sharpen it. I got another green in here somewhere that is really, really short. Let's just pull them out. This one, and I tried to sharpen it from both ends, and that was one of those that warped really bad. Uh, but the core is just totally destroyed. When they don't break, they're quite good. So let's put them out of the way because they're not the star of the show. But I, I've been quite happy with these, and that's the drawing I'm going to color in. So this one, it is a small set, and it's kind of weird that they decided to put a gold in a tiny set, but their choice. So the text, other than the, the, the color name here, says uh, FSC Eco Fabo Castell. On this one, it says... SV classic color Faber Castell, and then there's just a color name number, no color name on these. Um, it seems on the classic maybe the core is ever so slightly thicker, and the pencil is maybe a smidge thicker too. And they, s but they're all straight, so I'm really curious to see how these are. But there seems to be a slight difference between them. So, I will try this gold I probably won't need. I'm going to color in this rooster that I 
found a reference photo for her on Pixabay. And I'll try and keep it in frame. I have to remember over this line here and stuff. So um, let me do this as a speed paint and I'll comment on this afterwards by speed drawing.
well I am done with my rooster here it was quite nice to to work with these pencils the red here is not as deep red as I would like it to be but that's that's okay it it uh, it worked out okay as as it was it should have been more deep red but that just wasn't any deeper red and there was nothing I could really do to to deepen it up but it, it's uh, okay it's a 12 set so can't expect too much um, how they laid down quite nicely uh, and uh, they layered great on this paper which by the way is Claire Fontaine uh, crayon drawing paper it has a good texture to it and I like working with colored pencils on it and um, they blended and they mingled just fine they felt na nearly as good as professional uh, colored pencils to work with they are fairly soft so I had to uh, sharpen them quite a few times uh, so let me see the colors I used the most got shortened up a bit um, the only one I, I had a little bit of a problem with this one, but I think that was me who wiggled it a little too much in the in the pencil sharpener. I broke the tip off, not the whole tip, but part of the tip off, and had to resharpen it. And this one broke after I I had sharpened it, and it broke all the way up in the wood. So that was a a breakage. Uh, the core had broken. But otherwise, they, they sharpen quite nicely. I think they're a little bit softer and a little more pigmented than the, the Eco uh, color pencil. Um, I quite like them. And I would definitely get a bigger set if I didn't already have way too many colored pencils of all sorts. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, and the drawing is one I have been wanting to do for a long time, so that was quite a, a nice setting. So let me grab the box, let's say Faber-Castell, classic colored pencils, absolutely my thumbs up for this. I'm gonna probably do a catch up at some point where I'm considering pencils in the same price range. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and all that if you haven't already. I have more of this stuff coming. I have lots actually. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.